it's not it is September and a few years ago in September I made prompts for sci-fi September sci-fi September is a readathon or reading month that was originally put on by books are my social life books are my social life stopped doing sci-fi September they've been a little bit more sporadic with posting but I think they're back at it now so definitely make sure to go check out their channel a few years ago when I did the prompts it was because I was looking for sci-fi September prompts so I made my own I will leave that video down below and then last year I followed those prompts to do a sci-fi September vlog this year I wanted to do a new set of prompts so I decided to kind of riff off the previous prompts the first prompts that I made were all to do with our solar system with the planets in our solar system so each prompt had to do with a planet or a star from our solar system so those are definitely still relevant you can definitely still go check those out you can also use those prompts as a tag if you would like to do a sci-fi September tag this month this year's prompts are going to be all revolving around the Chinese zodiac could I have gone for the traditional Western zodiac yes I could have and that is still a possibility for future prompts but I was in the mood to do more of the Chinese zodiac now the Chinese zodiac is a zodiac so it has to do with the years you were born when you were born and your zodiac sign in China but the Chinese zodiac is also used throughout many countries in Asia and in the Pacific Islands so there's a variation for many many different countries I think we in the West and especially in America know the Chinese zodiac the best because a lot of Chinese restaurants used to have placemats that that had the Chinese zodiac on it so it was a fun time to go to a Chinese restaurant and look up your Chinese zodiac and your family zodiac sign using the placemats I always had a super fun time with that but obviously there's a lot more to it than just being a placemat one of the things about the Chinese zodiac that I really like is that they are all associated with animals and the traits of those animals and they have to do with the year you were born so in the Western zodiac it has to do with the month you were born but in the Chinese zodiac it has to do with the year you were born so each one of the prompts is going to have the year you were born like or the years that are associated with that zodiac sign the animal that's associated with that zodiac sign and or a prompt that has to do with the traits or is somehow tangentially connected to that zodiac sign. You could do all of them. That would be a lot because there are 12 zodiac signs in the Chinese zodiac, so that would be a total of 36 prompts. You could do one of each of the prompts if you'd like. You can do any prompt that suits your fancy. You can make your books fit to these prompts or you can mix and match whatever you feel like. Do as many or as little as you want. The first prompt, which is kind of a bonus prompt and one that if you're looking for just one set of prompts to follow would be to look up what your zodiac sign is and read a book from the year you were born or read a book that follows one of those prompts whether it's the animal that is your zodiac sign or the prompt that I have created that goes along with that animal and with that zodiac sign right another way to just do a very minimal approach to these prompts would be to read a sci-fi or fantasy book that is by a Asian or Pacific Island author these prompts are supposed to highlight Asian authors, Pacific Island authors, especially because so many Asian authors are writing sci-fi these days, sci-fi fantasy, and it's a really fun way to diversify your reading. So let's get into the prompts. The first prompt would be, what is your zodiac sign? What is your Chinese zodiac? What animal is associated? What year were you born? What is your Chinese zodiac animal sign? And then we get into the actual sign. So like I said, if you want to just read a book that was published the year you were born, if you want to read a book that takes place the year you were born, if you want to read a book with that animal on the cover, or 
in the story, feel free to do that. And bonus points if it's by an Asian or Pacific Island author. The first zodiac sign is the rat, and this is associated with the years 1900, 1912, 1924, 1936, 1948, 1960, 1972, 1984, 1996, 2008, and 2020. So read a book that was published or takes place in any of those years. The first zodiac sign is the rat, so read a book with a rat on the cover, a rat in the title, or a rat in the story. And you can definitely flub this, you can definitely interpret these any way you want. Like maybe there's a story with the word rat in the title and you want to count that as rat, that's totally fine. Obviously these prompts are just for fun and just to help us explore our reading more and more. The descriptive prompt for number one, the rat, is read a book with a charming or persuasive character. So read a book that that you know there's someone who charms people or gets their way or match a book that you've already read in the month of September to this prompt. Number two is the ox. So read a book with an ox on the cover or in the story or in the title and the years associated with the ox are 1901, 1913, 1925, 1937, 1949, 1961, 1973, 1985, 1997, 2009, and 2021. So read a book that is set or was published in any of those years. The descriptive prompt for this one is a story where someone shows great patience or persistence or stubbornness. A side note is that many of the other cultures that use this zodiac idea have different animals. So maybe they don't have an ox, maybe they have a cow, or maybe they have a bull. So feel free to also interpret these prompts using other animals that are similar to the animal that you see in the Chinese zodiac. Number three is the tiger. And the descriptive prompt with this one would be to read a dystopian or a utopian book. The years associated with the tiger are 1902, 1914, 1926, 1938, 1950, 1962, 1974, 1986, 1998, 2010, and 2022. So read a book that is published or takes place in any of those years. And of course, the last part of the prompt is to read a book with a tiger on the cover, in the story, in the title of the story, or of course if you want to go ahead and read a book with a cat instead of a tiger, a lion, any other sort of big cats, any cat-like creatures. We are reading sci-fi fantasy, so if there's a cat-shaped creature in your sci-fi, I think that counts as well. Number four is the rabbit, which is the years 1903, 1915, 1922, 1939, 1951, 1963, 1975, 1987, 1999, 2011, or 2023. And a rabbit on the cover, a rabbit in the story, rabbit themed, there's quite a few rabbit ideas that you could use here. If you want to use the descriptive part of this prompt, it's going to be the most popular sci-fi book on your shelves right now. Choose that however you want. The one one that you've seen the most people reading, the one that you've heard the most about, the one that has the highest rating on Goodreads or Storygraph, the one that is a favorite among your friends or family or booktubers that you love, any way you want to interpret it. Dragon can certainly be a dragon on the cover, in the title, or in the story, and this is associated with the years 1904, 1916, 1928, 1940, 1952, 1964, 1976, 1988, 2000, 2012, and 2024. The descriptive prompt that's related to this one is going to be to read an arc. That could be an arc that you have to read for 2024, which is kind of fitting because 2024 is the year of the dragon, or it can be an arc that you have for next year, 2025, or it can be an arc that you've had sitting on your shelves forever. It could be a book that you wanted to read as an arc. Again, many ways to interpret this and certainly feel free to do whatever you really want. Number six is the snake and the descriptive prompt for this is a long book or a space opera or an epic story. So Space Opera September is another readathon that goes on in September so I always like to include a prompt that 
includes space opera, and this is a good one because it's a snake. Snakes are very long. Space operas tend to be long, so feel free to read a book like that. I know Dune is a super popular one right now, and that would definitely fit in with this prompt. The years associated with the snake, 1905, 1917, 1929, 1941, 1953, 1965, 1977, 1989, 2001, and 2025. So again, I included 2025 partly because you could do this forever for the rest of time. You can use these prompts whenever you want. You don't have to only use them in 2024, but partly also because if you want to read maybe an arc for this one as well and double up on prompts, that's also totally fine. Obviously for Snake, you can read a book with a snake on the cover in the, to in the story or in the title. Number seven is a horse, and that is a horse on the cover, a horse in the title, a horse in the story. It's associated with the years 2000 uh, 1906, 1918, 1930, 1942, 1954, 1966, 1978, 1990, 2002, and 2014 and obviously 2026, but I'm going to stop getting ahead of myself in years. The descriptive prompt for this one is a book set in a country you've been to or that you've wanted to go to. So could you use your own country? Yes. Could you use a country that you've always wanted to visit? Certainly. Could you use a country that you visited? Yes. Number eight is the goat. That's my year. This is also sometimes associated with a sheep or a ram, so feel free to use any of those, either on the cover, in the title, or in the story. It follows the years 1907, 1919, 1931, 1943, 1955, 1967, 1979, 1981, 2003, and 2015. And this is going to be a book featuring a artist or some kind of art. That can be a person who creates art, a dancer, a writer, visual artist, etc, etc, or it can be a book that just has some of those aspects in it. So dance, writing, music, theater, anything that you associate with art is the prompt for this one. Number nine is The Monkey, is 1908, 1920. Oh, that one's wrong. So I wrote the numbers down wrong. I'm just going to put them here. Featuring a picture of a monkey, a monkey on the cover, a monkey in the story, a monkey in the title, and this this is going to be a fairy tale or a fable or a retelling of a fairy tale or a fable. So you can do any books that you want to do that, you know, maybe you want to read a classic, maybe you want to read something from Asia, a classic Asian fairy tale would be a good one for this one, but also any kind of retelling. So I know a lot of the sci-fi fantasies that are coming out from Asian authors have to do with Asian fairy tales. And of course you don't have to read Asian authors for this, so there are also a lot of fairy tales and fables that come from other countries that have been recreated in retellings, or you could read the original from those countries as well. Number 10 is The Rooster. This one is also often associated with a chicken or a cock or a chick. This zodiac is for the years 1909, 1921, 1933. I'm just gonna stop saying the years and I'm just going to put them here and that'll save me time as well. So for the rooster, a rooster on the cover, a chicken on the cover, in the story, in the title, and the descriptive prompt for this one is a book about a father or you could certainly do a mother or any parental figure. So a story featuring a family with a father or with a mother or etc etc. Number 11 is the dog and this one can feature a dog on the cover in the title or in the story. I will put all the years that this one is associated with on the side here and it can be a book about religion, spirituality, customs, or traditions. You could do a book that that is that has a strong spiritual aspect that has a religious aspect you could specifically choose books sci-fi and fantasy books with an asian style religion or tradition in them anything that you think would fit this prompt fits this prompt and finally number 12 is the pig this is often also called the boar in many countries so featuring a pig or a boar or any of those type of animals on the cover in the story or in the title and the prompt for this one is to read a love story that could be a, a romanticy that could be a fantasy with a little side plot that's a love story it could be about platonic love it could be about familial love it could be romantic love anything that you think 
think fits the prompt. So those are the 12 zodiac signs plus the bonus prompt of just reading a book from the year you were born or with your zodiac sign or reading the descriptive prompt about your zodiac sign. Let me know what your Chinese zodiac is in the comments below. Let me know if you plan on participating in Sci-Fi September. Remember you can use these prompts this year, next year, anytime you want. Thanks so much for joining me today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!